My name is Doug Creeden, and I'm an OBGYN by training, uh, but I work primarily on labor and delivery as an OB hospitalist. I do see some patients in the clinic as well and try to help um, navigate them through their pregnancies and that postpartum period. But my primary role is here in the hospital, seeing patients when they come in uh, for the time of delivery and, at, and immediately afterwards, or during their pregnancy if they have any concerns or issues that, that would bring them in prior to that time of delivery. My transition to becoming a physician was actually a midlife, what I call my midlife crisis. I was doing me biomedical research and I thought about the next 30 or 40 years and what I really wanted to do and how and where I thought I could have the best impact. And I decided to go back to medical school. So at age 35 with um, my wife and two children in tow, we um, went back to school. Yeah, as far as choosing my career, I think if you had asked me at the beginning of med school what areas of medicine I would probably not have on my list, um, OBGYN would have been one of them, I think. But uh, I, I also decided that I wanted to be very open-minded about the area of medicine I practiced. Um, and so when I went to back to medical school, I looked at every area with equal kind of passion and enthusiasm. And it was in my third year when I did my OBGYN rotation and everything just seemed to click. Um, I really enjoyed the patient population. I enjoyed the range of, of problems that you see in OBGYN. And I just felt like it was the right fit. Oh, the favorite part of my job has to be handing a new baby to a, to a mom, um, to see the look on her face, knowing that that's her child. Um, it's just such an incredible and rewarding uh, experience. I mean, I gain so much uh, from just interacting with patients and being part of their care, especially on labor and delivery. It's such a special moment in a woman or a couple's life. And to be part of that is really humbling. And it's, it's just so incredibly rewarding.